It will increase your bounty, so to speak. If the other team eliminates you, they get points based on the amount of stars you have. And to spice things off, to kick off and catalyst this event, you got one star in the middle to fight for to give you that early lead. So just to keep it simple, remember the stars are counted in the top left and top right corner. Whichever team has more stars at the end is the winner. And already, you can see the ticks trading out, so Chaos and Percival both taking control of those particular brawlers. You've got the Pipers present as well, and they're just going to be waiting, playing the time. No one's going to risk going for that first star, because if you get that star, that's only worth one point. But if you lose your life, you're giving over two, so it's not exactly the most advantageous of trades to take. Certainly not. You see a ton of firepower going on into the center of the arena there. Those dueling ticks just dropping as many bombs as they can, trying to prevent the opposing team from gaining any ground, and they've done a great job of it so far. Gweagle up on top for Red. Uh, Kalunga doing his best to kind of poke through that left bush and now into the center, trying to prevent anyone from gaining any ground at all. Every single tile matters here, Trid. Playing it nice and slow. I'm certain once the first star is taken, the tempo of the rest of this game will be defined because then we have a team with a lead. A lead to hold, a lead to control, and motivation for their opponent. Here comes the, the offensive. Chaos throws out a super ah. tick and he doesn't get a kill, but that does give a little bit of space for Gia to grab that star in the center. A nice early lead for Clash. They gain the upper hand, but will start to pull back and play a bit more defensive now that they are in the lead. Oh, almost kills Piper. Not quite, though. Gonna retreat around. Piper obviously has the range to play with here, so can play a little bit further back than some of her fellow brawlers, and will keep her relatively safe. If you get tagged a few times, you still have to back off because the aggression can come in, and Azkada gets tagged again. Sitting at around about 1200 HP, having to hide behind. There's 25 seconds remaining, Woody, and we might end with a 1-0 scoreline at this rate. Oh, I don't expect that. These teams are gonna go all in in the last few seconds, doing their best to try to get a kill, but Kata has not been able to get that poke that he's looking for, going Giggle. way far down. Now Trevor getting low, but finishes off Gweagle. That is a big lead now for Clash, as it's up to Red Cannons to get the comeback in five seconds. Chaos is head first, actually hunted down Parzival as well. They have a seven-star lead, Woody, with two seconds remaining. First game. Going over to Clash. And that is the advantage in gaining a little early head start. You get that first star and you can play defense, Trid. It puts the onus on your opponents to start attacking you. And when you're walking into that much firepower, it's hard not to lose a few brawlers. As you can see, that game got out of hand fast once that first star came into play and Woody gave a very good explanation as to why. We're gonna be jumping into our next game. It's obviously still gonna be on Layer Cake, still a bounty map. The players, they have the option of making adaptations if they like to. We saw pretty much mirror compositions coming out from them anyway, so I don't expect many changes, but I'm welcome to be surprised. Yep, and they do have the chance to switch out their brawlers and change up their star powers in between each match, but we do have a strict schedule that we expect them to keep to. They only have a little bit of time before we're hopping into game number two. Clash looking to close it out uh, in this first set to grab the bounty win, while Red Kalunga is going to be facing that uphill battle, struggling to get two in a row. Well, let's see how they pan out as we jump onto the second map. No changes on the side of Clash. I believe Red Kalunga are running identical as well. Just gonna try and again scatter these tick bombs all over the center, try and gain control. And we saw the big moment that really shifted this into the next gear, Woody, was when Chaos managed to get his head first online. So I imagine that's gonna be the next catalyst unless someone gets picked off earlier. Ooh. It's gonna be the same lineups for both teams, but uh, it looks like Piper and Gene are gonna be swapping players. Quigle and Kata are gonna swap out here. Gene's still gonna be applying pressure over there on the left side, uh, but no kills yet. We do get the first star, however, for Red Kalunga. That bodes well for them going into the late game. And it's a good change of pace as Kata actually picks up Treyball on the left as well, so they've blown this round wide open. You gotta remember, the margin was only seven stars in the previous game, so if that's the same in this case, Woody, they're already halfway to victory. We go getting real low, gonna have to back off a bit here. There's an advantage for Piper to be sitting in those bushes if she's running her ambush star power. That is a lot of extra damage if she manages to get that shot from inside the bush. They're just playing as far back as they can. Eventually, they may get to a situation where they are boxed, though, but they have to enter this no man's land to get into cover. Oh, and Grigal going to find Gie on the back line, makes him five stars right now, extending that lead for Red Kalunga even farther. This is going to be super tough for Clash to come back at this point. Already five stars down. They would need a couple of kills, and they don't seem to be getting much headway at all. Finally, Trevor gets his super, pulls out uh, the, the mortar, but not going to keep it for long to pull for and Keita is going to grab it back, and that's going to equalize the playing field. 20 seconds left, and Red Kalunga just has to play defense a little bit longer. 
Fantasy can slot supers here. Guille has the reposition if he comes under pressure or wants to get in close for an assassination. The head first goes in, easily spotted out by Kader to stop that from coming in. But a nice shine for Guille! Brings about the three stars. They can close the gap, Woody, in the last five seconds if they're good enough. There it is! They've closed the gap! It's a 5-5 five, five draw for game number two. Draws! Wasn't expecting to see that in game number two of the entire season of monthly finals. We are going to have Woody hold that defensive top line and with a 5-5 draw, we're just gonna have to replay that one and see who's gonna be moving on. Ooh, spicy. Wasn't expecting that. 10 seconds remaining before we jump into the next game. Like we said, could see some adaptations. Really only the players swapped the brawlers, but the brawlers themselves didn't change until now. We see Trayball on the Brock. Interesting swap out here. Yeah, Brock along with Piper is uh, one of the longest range brawlers in the game. He can only fire straight though, so he's really got to get this angle right. And with so many tick bombs coming out, it's going to be really difficult uh, to get that set up. I feel like that's Parzival's job for this initial round, especially. Make sure he's contributing one of his ammo over to the right hand side to stop Trayball's angles coming in. Deny him the supercharge and also deny him the just general damage to the enemy team. First of all, doing a great job setting up those bombs right there in the center of the map. Same thing for Chaos. That's going to deny the ability for the opposing team to kind of sneak up into that bush and try to grab that star really quickly. Here we go, though. We're going to finally get some push over there on the left side from Keita. He's trying to get some more coverage of that center bush, but doesn't get it uh, long enough. Well, actually, hold on. I guess that Piper grabbed the star, and now Red Kalunga is going to be in the lead. I take it back. Yeah, a little bit of misdirection coming in from Red Kalunga. Look at Keita, and then the other hand's in your back pocket, taking the star from the center of the map. They've disappeared into the crowd already. Very sneaky, sis. Mm. All right, let's get back in the action with another big shot committed. Super from I Chaos is denied by Gweagle. That Piper shot deals a ton of damage and knocked out in one hit. Guille almost grabs a kill there, but is forced back a little bit. Advantage for Red Kalunga, but they are really being pressured hard. Only a one star difference at the moment with 40 seconds remaining. This could swing real fast, especially if Guille oh. wants to get dropped down to 766. The head first in hot pursuit, uses his own super to get away, and escapes that damage perfectly, making sure that lead doesn't extend too far for Red Kalunga. Very sneaky play by Gene over on that left side in the bush, hiding around, took a shot from Guille and almost got finished off by Trevor, but not able to get the connection there. He does land a few shots and has got some great area denial there. Brock using it. Oh, the pull! He's got Trayball right in front of him, and it's possible to pick up the kill. What a clutch play there coming in from Red K. Gives him a three star lead, and the pressure's really on for Clash with five seconds remaining. Awesome job there, but they're not out of it. Think of it just yet. Just one more hit could take down either Grigo or Kata. We've got one second left, and there it goes. Oh. It's the kill, but it's not going to be enough. Red Kalunga will hold on to the lead. A 3 2 score in this game number two. We are going to have a tied up set. Trid, you really have to push hard and take a few risks. Make a few pop shots out into the bushes and just hope that they connect. This time, it didn't pay off, and Clash and Red Kalunga are going to be going to the tiebreaker in their very first set. Yeah, Clash have gone back, and they've reassessed. They've gone back to the penny rather than using the block again. So they're going to keep the pressure on the left-hand side, but Red Ooh, Kalunga oh. are so happy with what they got right now. They're real confident in what they're doing. Just need to get a hold of that first star and get that early lead again. That was a killer Piper duel right there in the center. Quigel and Guille almost each got a kill, but couldn't quite manage to get the finishing blow. Star gonna still be sitting there in the center. Tick's trying to land some bombs on the enemies, but uh, oh, just finally gets the first hit there on that right side. Charging up their supers though, and doing their best to get control. Parzival doing an awesome job, really pushing back that Clash team. Oh no! Wow, Ray Kalunga grabs the star but that's... can't hold on to it. Knocked down by Gie. That's going to be an advantage for Clash. That's always the risk, Woody. That early advantage has come back to bite them because now Clash are the ones who have got it and they can go on the defense. Gie on Piper can play especially far back so he's able to play a little bit safer than the others and keep that three-star bounty on his head alive for longer. Kata misses a pull there, but Chaos has been able to charge up his super. The cannon has been deployed now, and it's going to start raining down fire on the attackers. That uh, star power as well for Chaos is going to provide some void zone denial, helping to prevent any pushes from Red Kalunga. They've got to hold on for 45 seconds. That's the tick bombs are going to be traded again. Trayball pushing a little bit further up now as he retreats, obviously, as that line of Red Kalunga presses forward. Head first going in, Parzival didn't have to cover 208 HP oh. and on the back end of it, the regular attack will find him. The tick bomb's coming in true, 25 seconds remaining, four star lead for Clash. The super set up in a bomb to knock it down. It's a beautiful strike for Trevor, giving Clash the crucial edge that they need and denying Parzival and again. opportunity and again. Chaos gonna find it, head first goes in, fight the double, Clash. 
punishing Red Kalunga for their arrogance, their insistence, their conviction to keep going. And they have a 12 star to one lead. They'll walk away with the first map. Bounty going the way of